right now, I'm on the ferry. We're going over to Bainbridge Island. We're going to uh, visit 11 winery, not 11 wineries, but 11 winery. And we're going to uh, get some fish and chips, get some, uh, and get some nuts. So come along with me today. Soon, I gotta get back in the car. These ferries run about once every 40 minutes or so. Um, there's some uh, downtown. Um, one up here is a little bit easier. In fact, this time I just drove up, got right on. I think it's time to head back to the car. We'll get ready to start our adventure. Nuts. Let's take a quick look. There is. Just says next. Doesn't say what's in it. Let's see. Looks like there's some hazelnuts. Mmm. Very cinnamony. I'm sure. Mmm. I'd be a little too much cinnamon. Not bad. Not sure what this one is. What's the dark? What's the really dark? Oh, I guess I won't find out. All right, squirrels are up. Right, let's try a couple more. Got the cashews. Not sure how fresh they roasted. Definitely almonds in there. Let's try the almond. Mm. Almonds are the best. Okay. Now, just down the road from here is Port Gamble, which is a national historic site. So we're going to go check that out before heading over to the wineries. Oh, munch on these on the way. Port Gamble is a small little uh, tourist town. I think it's big on weddings. If you look behind me, I think, I'm guessing there's a lot of weddings going on in there. But otherwise, it's a cute little town. Got a couple restaurants, a couple small stores. Got the community center right behind me. Uh, it's, it's worth stopping in, walking around for five or 10 minutes. Otherwise, not a whole lot here.
just showed up at 11 Winery here in the middle of the woods. Although it is right off the road. Let's go inside, see what's up. Doing the uh, reserve tasting at 11. It's quite nice. A little more bedroom. Got a nice outdoor spot um, and covered, which is nice. Got a little rain going on. Feel like you're uh, doing a wine tasting in the middle of the forest. Somehow this feels very Seattle to be sitting outside in the rain drinking wine. Alright, next up. I've heard nothing but good things about proper fish. Apparently. Chef came over from England, couldn't find good fish and chips, opened up a fish and chip shack. Gonna try it, tell you what I think. So we're in Bainbridge. So this is a small little uh, kind of shopping district, walkable from the ferry. Uh, they've got a grocery store, they've got a bunch of restaurants. We're gonna go over and try proper fish. chips um, we'll see we'll see how they stack up we are order number 19 can't come fast enough I'm starving they say they do fresh wild caught cod so we'll give that a try uh, let's break this up Fries. Mmm. Mmm. Fries are excellent. I like personally my fish and chips. I like lots of salt, lots of malt vinegar. I'm gonna throw that on there. And of course, tartar sauce. Alright, let's give this a try. Alright, let me get a piece here. That. All right, looks like. All right, look at that. Super flaky. Mmm. Outside, super crisp. Good batter. Mmm. This is just what you want. Mm. Batter is perfect. Me, I like a little more salt on it. Probably if we, I was eating inside, I would grab the salt shaker, but maybe it's better that I don't. Mm, nice up. Definitely best fish and chips I've had in Seattle. I do like Ivers, but I think I would come here again. I think this probably beats it. It's probably number one at this point.